All right. First, I just want to thank the, uh, our friends at the media for coming out on short notice to help us uh, get the word out. We have found out just within the last hour that we are under a uh, boil order for water uh, for at least the next 24 hours. Uh, we do have Alan King uh, with us who is going to talk a little more about the technicalities of this particular incident. It's different than the last incident we had, uh, and it's kind of sad to say that, but that we've had a, a, this happen a, a couple times in this year, or within the last uh, eight months at least. Um, however, uh, it's really important we get the information out, but I'm going to hand it over to Alan uh, to talk a little more in depth about what happened in this particular situation, and then of course we'll, we'll both be uh, open to questions afterwards. So, Mr. King. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Alan King, Director of Public Works and Utilities. Uh, like, like the mayor says, thank you for coming on such short notice. We did receive uh, uh, information from KDHE that uh, we were under a boil advisory. Uh, and what we need to do is to get that word out to let people know. And really the origin of this was with our treatment plant. Uh, last time it was with our, uh, our the pipes in the ground, the distribution system. We had a catastrophic failure and it caused a pressure drop. And, that resulted in a uh, boil advisory. This time it was from the treatment plant itself. Uh, we have filters in our treatment plant and a normal routine maintenance is to back flush those filters to clean them up and get them ready for the next uh, run series. And it, um, they're old filters, 80 years old uh, as far as the treatment plant is concerned. And normally we're able to catch uh, these glitches that happen. In this particular case, we didn't get on top of it and we had cloudy water um, discharged into um, our distribution system, what they call turbidity. Um, we know that the source of the water, it came from the filters, uh, and we know um, the, uh, uh, the levels of turbidity. We had chlorine uh, present the whole time, but KDHE is uh, pretty much uh, required by uh, state and federal law to use this as an indication of uh, of a concern for the water quality, concern for the safety of our public. So out of an abundance of caution, uh, we're issuing this boil order advisory, we're asking citizens to boil their water that they would be using for cooking or drinking, and that they would you should get rid of your uh, ice that comes out of your ice maker, and uh, know that uh, this should be a short duration period of time. Normally it's around uh, two to three days. Three days is kind of the norm. The last time this happened, we were able to get it all taken care of in 24 hours. We anticipate that we'll be able to do that again. There's a test that you have to take a sample out of the water and take 24 hours to, to grow uh, bacteria if it's there and then be able to see it. So we're limited by the amount of time it takes to run this test and that's 24 hours. We've already grabbed samples. They're on their way to the lab. Uh, we think that about this time, uh, uh, next tomorrow, about this time, 24 hours from now, we hope to have it all clear from KDHE. KDHE is a good uh, partner. They stand at the ready 24-7 to give us that uh, clear uh, once we can provide them with the test results that support that. And so what we would ask is that people bear with us, understand that uh, we're doing this because of a concern for the safety of our citizens and that we're doing everything that we can to, uh, to get this taken care of quickly. What I can tell you is the water treatment uh, problem that had occurred has been fixed. Um, the, uh, the plant is operating normally, functioning normally, and so uh, once we get the, the testing done, uh, we'll be able to immediately uh, give people the green light to be able to use their water. So again, according to staff, in this particular situation, we are confident that this uh, should only last about 24 hours. However, we will keep the public as updated as uh, in real time as information comes forward. Uh, we were lucky to, to catch this uh, th this issue before before it, it, it got became more of an issue. Uh, however, again, we, we do out of abundance of caution need to uh, have the 24 hour uh, boil order just because that is the regulation from the state and also the federal level to ensure that if there is bacteria, it had those, those samples have time for that to, uh, to, to show itself. Uh, with that, we can open up to questions. So can you go into more detail about, Al, you mentioned it's been fixed. Can you tell us what is it that's been fixed and was it just a matter of replacing these filters? Or talk a little bit more about that. 
Yeah, the, uh, the filters are these, they look like big swimming pools with the sand and charcoal at the bottom of them. So it's not something that you replace. I mean, uh, every five, 10 years or so, you, you go through and replace the sand and the charcoal that's in them, the media that's in them. But really what it is is to uh, control the back flush. That's how you clean them for their next uh, run, their next use. And to be careful on how you discharge that back water into the rest of the treatment process. Um, it was a higher than expected uh, dose of solids, and so normally we have workarounds. These sorts of things happen regularly, you don't even hear about them. This one just got away from us, and so we um, had solids that at higher levels than we expected, and our workaround wasn't adequate. Now uh, the, the backwash has been completed, the water that's going into the system is acceptable, and uh, the water that's going out into our system is clean and meets requirements, but you have this slug of the water that was cloudy going through our system, and that's what KDHE is concerned about. So was this a user error in maintenance, or was this just due to the whole uh, infrastructure, or just an oversight on, uh, could you just explain a little bit uh, that? Yeah, that's a good question. It, it was both. Um, because we have a very old uh, treatment plant, we've got to expect problems. And normally we have a real talented bunch of staff that uh, monitors for these problems and offers uh, really creative workarounds sometimes. Like I say, the one the problems you don't hear about are the, are the ones that they get out ahead of, of, anticipate, get out ahead of, and fix. This one just got away from us. So it's a combination of an older treatment plant and staff just not getting ahead of this particular one. They, there's problems with all different parts of the plant that they, uh, that they experience, but they are uh, able to go ahead and do the work around and keep our water safe. You mentioned that it is an old plant and that you know, the employees have workarounds for this. Is there a longer term solution uh, to prevent this just because it is such an old system? Yeah, we'll redouble our efforts on monitoring and have uh, look for this particular problem now that it's occurred, look for it again. But the real solution I think that you're describing is we're building a, a brand new water treatment plant. And it should be done somewhere around the end of 2024, maybe 2025. That new water treatment plant will replace this old treatment plant. And we should have a higher reliable um, treatment process at that new treatment. And I know you advise people to um, use bottled water or not use uh, tap water when they're cooking and drinking. Um, does that go for brushing teeth and uh, other things as well? Uh, yes, or anything that uh, causes you to ingest water, brushing teeth, I could say, is a good example of that. Drinking, certainly. Cooking, certainly. Uh, washing dishes, uh, that sort of a thing. Anything that's going to be uh, human consumption should either be bottled water or boiled water. If you don't want to use boiled water, you can't afford it, uh, the solution is, is to, uh, to boil the water and it, any contamination there might be there would be taken care of. Now, does this affect communities that buy water from you guys? Yes, sir. There's uh, wholesale customers that we provide water to. Uh, we got a, a, out ahead of this and talked to those that have alternative water sources and they have since switched uh, to other uh, water sources. But there are a few that have rely solely on the city's uh, water, and they will be in a boil order like we are. The mayor had said this is uh, one of the last October's boil advisory was the first in about 30 years. Can you verify how long it was uh, before last fall's boil advisory, the city of Wichita has been placed on the board? It was a good long time. I wouldn't disagree with the mayor. You know, 30 years, it was certainly a long time, maybe 20 some years. Uh, uh, that, Penny, 20 some years? It was the late 90s, that's what I recall. Late 90s, so uh, it's been a long time. As you might have guessed, uh, as you're getting towards the end of the useful life of an 80 year old water treatment plant you, uh, and uh, system infrastructure, you might uh, find these sort of problems. It's just unfortunate that we have them in such close proximity. Um, and do you have a time stamp on when exactly this was first detected? Um, just as far as if anybody had water that Maybe boiled water or something else. When was this detected um, specifically? It, it was uh, it was in the uh, late afternoon, uh, it was two thirty, three o'clock ish, um, when we uh, when we detected it. The boil order wasn't um, issued until after that. There is a lag time between when we observed the problem in the water treatment plant and when that slug of water would reach our first and closest customers. And so this boil advisory comes well in time uh, to have protected people in the meantime. 
just saw that Jamie said that it's pretty much a limiting factor on, on the road repealing the flow of advisory. Is it waiting for the tests to come back? Yes, sir. We, uh, we take the samples. Uh, we do a lot of the testing ourselves. Um, but we will also be there to help out our uh, customers who may not have the same sort of lab facilities as we do. So we'll help them uh, with the samples that are collected, run at uh, laboratories. That's the sort of thing that we would want to do to our customers, our wholesale customers. With all the water with Yeah, it looks like, I don't know if you've ever been in parts of the country that have high turbidity. It kind of looks almost, you fill a glass of water and it almost looks a little bit cloudy. That's what we're talking about, a cloudiness. Probably uh, as water moves through the system, it'll dilute. Most people would not even notice it. That's why it's important for us to release this boil water because people probably would have no other reason than to suspect the water other than the notice that we're giving them. And just to be clear, you don't think that the actual filter itself is faulty? Faulty in the sense that it gave us a high uh, solid uh, um, discharge when we back flushed it. Shouldn't do that, doesn't normally do that. But like I say, these filters are old and probably it shows us that it's past due uh, replacing the media that's in the bottom of it, the, the sand and the charcoal. Uh, again, just want to thank everyone for coming out and helping us get the word out with this. this is an unfortunate situation. Sadly, as was mentioned just a few months ago, we've been here before. We know how to, how to deal with this, uh, and we uh, would like uh, to ask folks to, to uh, help spread the word, reach out to uh, neighbors, people who might not be online, who might not mention this or, or see this, uh, so that they're, they're aware as well. Uh, the Right now, boiling the water, from my understanding, you just have to bring it up to a boil. It doesn't have to be boiled for long. Um, it, it is a uh, absolute uh, inconvenience, and, and we just thank the people of Wichita uh, for erring on the side of caution and uh, making sure that we do the proper uh, the proper methods to, to ensure the safety of our citizens. Um, and with that, we will keep you updated uh, as soon as we get information. Again, we don't expect these tests back until this time tomorrow, or tomorrow maybe a little sooner, as these have to sit out for 24 hours. Uh, but as we get more information, we will be uh, putting that information out, utilizing our social media accounts uh, so that uh, you all can um, help us uh, continue uh, getting this information out to folks. So again, thank you all for coming in on such a short notice. Uh, thank you to our staff who's going to be working overtime, I'm sure, uh, to make sure that uh, this problem is not only addressed, but also we're monitoring uh, the problem closely so that we can get this information out as it comes, uh, as it becomes available. So thank you again.